Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The X-Files. Uh, we're on to episode 15 of season 9. The last one, The Kid. Took me a while to figure it out, I'll be honest. Um, anyway, we're going to move straight on. If you are still enjoying The X-Files, we are almost at the end of the original series. Um, well, we're heading towards the end of season 9. But don't forget to hit the subscribe if you're enjoying them. And we will continue on with episode 15. Once upon a time, there were three... How shall I put this? Geeks. Three more unlikely heroes there never were. It wasn't long before their naivete nearly got them killed. I know the answer, voice. So they hooked up with an FBI agent. What shall I call it? Rag, called the Lone Gunman. The guys at the NSA and the CIA, they tremble every time we put out one of these babies. For a brief time, it looked as if they might actually make a difference in this cold, cruel world. Me You're going to close the door. You know we're in the Bermuda Triangle, right? Mm -hmm. That place where all those planes and ships have mysteriously so disappeared. Mm -hmm. Who do you think named it the Bermuda Triangle? Wait, you? Yeah. Okay. He's There's left. a lot of things I can't talk about owing to matters of national security, but I will say this. There are powerful forces out here. Somebody's coming. And you go. Okay, so he's gone to the private sector. Your employer wanted me to tell you. What? You're fired. You might want to jump off. His heart's going down. What a fucking shit. Ah, okay. Cool. We're very curious about that. Well, you two head the FBI's X Files unit, do you not? Mm -hmm. You have no idea who you're sitting here with, do you? <laughs> the guy who's up Fudge Creek for violating the Federal Secrets Act, how's that for starters? Let me give you a hint. I used to work at Groom Lake, Nevada, Area 51. I was a man in black. There were a lot of technical inaccuracies in that thing. Mm. Anyway, I'm ready to make a deal. You hear about my boat? Yeah, your female companion told us what she witnessed. Look, I need protection. I need to get out of here. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. These documents of yours, <laughs> are they indicative of the kind of secrets you can reveal to us? They're just the tip of the iceberg. I told them the Air Force lost a flying saucer in the Bermuda Triangle, and that I could recover it for them. Okay. They just wanted to cruise the Bahamas. Yeah, that would Well, look, he found out about it, now he wants to kill me. I need protection. Super soldiers. There you go. Had to do something. What do you know about super soldiers? More than you. A bit. It may be there's one I can help you lay your hands on. Uh, what can we do for you, agents? Well, we were hoping you could help us out. You know that for months now we've been investigating this secret cadre, these uh, so-called super soldiers. Genetically altered humans. You mean the ones that want to kill Mulder? She's, um, she's a fellow hacker. Damn fine one. She calls herself Eve Vidal Harlow. And that she's become one of these super soldiers. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? She's no super soldier. Absolutely not. Not a chance. Who told you that? This is pointless. These three monkeys couldn't find stink in an outhouse. Why are we even here? You got a nerve coming here. Miserable son of a bitch. I told you they wouldn't help. Every word out of his mouth. He's a scam artist. He used us to track Eve down a year ago. Not my finest hour, I'll admit it. Every word out of his mouth. Agents, I'm telling you. You don't want these three involved. I need to track down this Eve Adele Harlow. Okay, that's obviously something to do with the, the long coming series, which is why we don't know. But the... Professor Houston. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> oh. My office hours are three to five, Mondays and Fridays. That's a very small thing. What the hell was that? What did she just fire at him? And it sort of... Douglas? Didn't sound like a gun. It fizzed.
Looks like an alien's burst out of his chest. Jimmy? Don't know who that is either. Guy used to intern for you losers, right? I wondered what happened to you. Why is he here? FBI business. It's been a real geology lesson. I ran out of money, so I hitchhiked here. Lois Franz? That's Eve's real name. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Brainpower here is lucky to be alive. Why did you send him? Were you trying to get him killed? I traced her to a little college in New Jersey. I saw her. I actually laid my eyes on her. But she ran. Later on, I found out. Guys. Get on I with think it. She murdered somebody. And what did you take out of the guy's chest? It's meant to be his heart, is it? Why is it glowing pink? One down. How many more to go? Sir, what can you tell us about your friend? Do you have any reason why he may have been targeted? Absolutely none. Jimmy also told us what kind of car she's driving. Silver X5 with New York plates. Really? Think you might find a military satellite you could piggyback? Give us a bird's eye view of the Beltway? Intriguing. My best guess is bioluminescence, but uh, I'm still waiting to hear back from our lab. I said it was going to Bioluminescence, as in the stuff that makes lightning bugs glow? As near as I can tell, it bled out of him. Hey, it gets weirder still. When I opened him up, I found adhesions that indicate past surgeries. It looks like cartilage. It is. It was living tissue grafted into him. What? I have absolutely no idea why. Peculiar. It held something. Something that's now missing. A little ad hoc surgery? Maybe that was the very purpose of the murder. Seriously, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Weird organs? I don't know what to tell you. You've never heard of the man? Professor Douglas Houghton. Yeah, well, I'm not lying now. I've said from the start I didn't know what she was up to. She's gonna kill that guy. Duggan and Reyes are on their way. By then, it'll be too late. Who walks into a hotel room and jumps straight in the shower immediately? Oh, he's not. He's not. Eve, don't do it! Hmm. Not buying the super soldier thing. I prefer Eve. So, we take it you're not a super soldier. Eve, you weren't seriously going to smoke that guy, were you? I know you three mean well. But I can't begin to tell you how badly you've mucked things you up. You need to fill us in a bit. It's quite a party you got planned for him. Respirator. Is it a toxin? Mention this little item here. Because you said about the guy who's doing research with sharks. Just like you did the professor. Why? Eve. Time is running short. Unless you let me finish what I started, innocent people will die. Who was it that put you onto me? Oh. Well. <laughs> Guys, so she's not a super soldier. I'm gonna scam on us from the start. Blowing up the boat. The girl is your witness. You planned all that. That yeah. no super soldier bull. We tracked down E for this slime bowl all It's all his plan. Again. Well, what can I tell you? Who do you work for, Fletcher? An international arms dealer. My father is a murderer and a supporter of terrorism. A zealot whose research was funded by my father for its what potential did he know that? system. Houghton was an immunologist doing research on sharks. Yeah. Yes. And he used his knowledge of their immune system to devise a vessel sorts shark cartilage right it contains something which you removed that was this virus you're talking about bald dude at the hotel the one that got away think yeah. of him as a human time bomb he can pass by any sniff dog genetically altered to a high degree of precision the way the vessel is decaying inside of him is virtually clock like it will lose integrity and rupture at eight o'clock providing all this is true this is peculiar we track this man down our bad guy just rented a blue Corolla under his alias Leonard Southall. We just picked him up on Kimmy's satellite. Yeah. This is clearly fuck all to do with the next file. It's just... Lone Gunman newspaper group, Byers speaking. Byers, John Doggett. Agent Doggett, do you have him? Oh yeah, 
We got him. How much do you trust this Eve Harlow, Lois Runtz, whatever name she's telling you? Completely. I think Why? everybody's lying here. Her, Doesn't I think. Sense. I think it's her. They're absolutely certain. 100%. Here's your ass and I are looking like a couple of fools on this one. There must be a second man. I know there is. It's basically. But he ran. No that makes no sense. We don't know his name and we don't know his target. So if South Hall is involved and yet he doesn't have the virus inside of him. So how exactly does he fit into their plan? What's that supposed to mean? It means these guys have you running after the ace when you should be chasing the queen. I thought you said you didn't know anything about terrorists. I don't. They made you work at finding South Hall, which tells me the real guy is hiding in plain sight. The man who saw me through the professor's window. The one Bingo. who identified me. Bingo. Ladies and gentlemen, scientists, academic leaders, but guiding our missile into that fugitive and vulnerable target is hard. Never heard of it. We're legit, man. Come on, come on, pass it. Show me a press pass. So it's desperately important that we get in there. Yeah, buddy, come on. I need all of you to step away right now. Look, thousands of people may die. John Gilnitz! John Gilnitz! What do we do with this guy once we find him? Hold him till I get there. I'll do the rest. You mean cut him open? Try to run. I don't have to. Hey, Jimmy, we found him! Uh, Not much time for surgery. Eve! Jimmy! Why would you do this? Now you have a minute 40. Whatever it takes. Okay. Holy shit. Really? Come here. Guys! Whatever it takes. Wasn't going to show it, was it? Arlington. You must have pulled some big strings to get those guys in here. Yeah. It's the least I could do. They meant so much to me. I'm not sure if they ever really knew. Langley said to me, the ones who never give up, they never die. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> but they live on through us all. Damn. Wow, there you go. That's the end of the trio. So, there ends. I don't know whatever happened with their spin off series, but obviously, it never lasted. I don't think it lasted and they gave a finite end to the Hong Gunman. The only disappointment for me was it felt, it felt exactly what that was. Let's make an episode and pull in some favorite characters, pull in Maurice Fletcher, have Reyes and Doggett in on it, pull Scully in it, Skinner on it and give them a, a proper send off but the storyline was a little bit weak for me. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, and Mulder, wherever he may be, never gets to say goodbye. And Skinner really did pull some strings together and buried there. Wow. Um, there's not an awful lot more I can say about that. I didn't know about the other guy that was in it. That was obviously part of the, the, the spin-off series. But it, it doesn't matter at this point. Um... I mean, we are coming towards the end of the original journey of the X-Files, so it made sense that, you know, like all series, they start pulling characters out and, and giving them an end, whatever that may be, whether they die or they leave or they move on. Um, that's the end of the long coming, guys. 
That's where it goes. Right, I will be back. I don't think there's an awful lot more I can say on top of that, to be honest. I enjoyed the ride with them. They've been there more or less since, since the start with Mulder. We got all the backstory of um, how them and Mulder first met <clears throat> in a couple of episodes as well through Su uh, Suzanne Medeski, was it? I believe. And how they were introduced to Mulder. So they've been there this whole time, but they, they were kind of on their beam's end trying to track down this girl, lost everything, and in the end, they've made the sacrifice. Right, see you for the next one very soon, guys. If you do want to watch any of these episodes, don't forget they are available over on Patreon, full length as always. And if you're still enjoying the X-Files, I would appreciate a quick sub down here. I will see you for episode uh, 16 next. Until then, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Rip, the long coming. See you for the next one. Don't